back to Your Life Arizona. We know that flowers smell good. They also have a range of health benefits, but there's a brand new trend out there. Have you heard about it? Folks are hanging flowers in their shower. So the owner of Stemistry, Dylan Capshaw, is here to explain and show us how to create our own shower flower arrangement. Uh, Dylan, first of all, um, you own uh, Stemistry, and tell us how old you were when you opened the business. Yes, I was 16. Okay, and how old are you now? 18. And how many uh, locations do you have? We have two with our third opening on October 5th. Okay, I didn't want everybody to miss that because <laughs> this is a dynamo. Thank you. Um, explain to me, before we get to the actual flower arrangements, yeah. Stemistry, it's such a great business concept. Appreciate Tell us it. what we can do because this is a really fun place for folks to go. Yeah, absolutely. So Stemistry is a flower bar and a coffee lab all in okay. one. So we have a full cafe menu. We have food and drinks that you can order, which have a lot of flowers mixed into them, okay. as well as a build-your-own bouquet bar uh -huh. where people can come in and create their own arrangement just like we'll do here yeah. or buy pre-made ones. So you can go by yourself, maybe go with, you know, a bunch of friends and create a, and walk away with a with a full arrangement. Absolutely, yeah, we do private events, classes, we love to educate. Okay, flower shower arrangement. Explain yes. to me, okay, so we're hanging, you know what, here's the finished product. Yeah. Show everybody so this at is home. what it will look like. So okay. we're taking eucalyptus, we make a little uh, knot that you can tie uh -huh. around your shower, and then okay. you keep this fresh bundle hanging. And why do people put this in the shower? Right, so aromatherapy has a ton of benefits. Eucalyptus especially has an essential oil in it okay. that can open up your sinuses, clear your airways, and most importantly, relieve stress. It's a yeah. great way to start the morning. And we were talking off camera it's important to, to get some of these things fresh because then you yes. get the and you know what show us the eucalyptus yeah uh, because when you when you break it apart um, right. it, you really get the Completely oils that come, fresh. yeah you can smell it from here come out yeah yeah so it's better uh, a lot of people use dried dried eucalyptus won't have all the oils this is still live it's super fresh full of oil very fragrant and it'll dry out in your shower over time so really this will just add an extra two weeks onto that lifespan okay show us how to put it together of course so you want to start most importantly with the eucalyptus okay. uh, so we each have some here there's three different kinds oh you're you're expecting me to put it together. Yeah, we're going to do together. it. Okay, fair enough. So you have some silver dollar there. Okay. Uh, and then in the vase, we have seeded eucalyptus, which is where you see those little seed pods. Okay. And then the one you just uh, touched is called spiral eucalyptus. Okay, beautiful. So all eucalyptus is super fragrant. They all have the essential oils. You can really use whichever you'd like. Okay. Um, so you want to get a little bundle together. It really mm -hmm. couldn't be easier. Uh, and then some people like to add in touches. When lavender is in season, that's a great thing you lavender, can add. Lavender, yeah. Chamomile is known for its relaxing properties. Okay, so I'll I take love a to add chamomile that. in mine. Okay. We also have some green if you'd like. It's okay. kind of just more for decoration. Okay. Safari, sunset, add a little bit of color in there. Okay. And then right, baby's breath, those. which is super relaxing. Great way to start yeah. your morning with that in the shower. And it's beautiful. Absolutely. So okay. once you're kind of happy with, with how your bundle's looking, uh -huh. you're going to take two pieces of twine. Okay. Uh, so we have some twine over there. You can use any string, twine. You can use ribbon like we have. Okay. Um, even scotch tape if you don't okay. have this at home. All right. And then you just kind of want to tie all the stems together pretty tight okay. so they stay in line. Give it a good double and, knot. And if you're artistic, you can tie a really beautiful bow. Of course, which but, I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It, um, when it's in your shower, maybe it doesn't matter as much if you're not as uh, artistic. Right. I'm definitely not. <laughs> but then after that, then what you just tie something on yeah, to the... So you're going to take the second piece and uh -huh. really just put it behind one of these stems. Okay. So you can just tuck it in behind the knot. Okay. And then at the very end, you're just going to tie one more little knot. And this is going to make that little loop that oh, you can hang onto your shower head. Oh, that's awesome. And so, you know, it's funny because I saw some pictures. If you've got the shower head here, you want to kind of put it behind, not yes. necessarily in the water stream, but where it still gets some of the water, Exactly, right? yeah, that's a great point. So you want to keep it out of the water stream. Uh, the best part is right behind the shower. It's going to get the humidity. So if you're taking a hot yeah. shower and you have that steam, that's where the essential oils are really going to come out. They'll latch onto that steam, and it's really good for your sinuses and, and stress. So I know at Stemistry you can build your own flower arrangement but you'll help us put one of these together too? Absolutely, yeah. You can come in with any project, idea, uh, anything you want. We have florists and people on staff that'll help you set it up and build it. Dylan, can I just say, you are uh, such a big point of pride for the state of Arizona, being Thank so you. young, having your own business. Tell everybody once again where the locations are for this demonstration. Absolutely, yeah. So we have one in Scottsdale on 90th and Villalinda, okay. one in downtown Phoenix and Heritage Square, and our third will have a grand opening from 9 to 11 on October 5th on McDowell and 59th Street. By the way, we should mention, you just started uh, at ASU and you're Business major? Business major. Started yesterday. <laughs> I was laughing because I was saying you could probably t teach I some of the classes. It. Yeah, but it's going to be a fun year. Dylan, we love having you in. Thanks Thank for spending you. some time with us. Thanks for having me.